When the calendar flips to November, it's time to witness the magical transformation of nature. The leaves of the trees turn from green to vibrant shades of yellow, orange and red, creating a stunning contrast with the clear blue sky. That's why we decided to take a trip to Shikoku, the smallest and least populated of Japan's four main islands, where we visited Richuring Garden, a paradise for autumn lovers. Richuring Garden is not just any park. It is a masterpiece of Japanese landscape design that dates back to the 17th century. It covers an area of 75 hectares and features six ponds, 13 hills, bridges, pavilions, and tea houses. It is also home to more than 1,000 pine trees, some of which are over 300 years old. Richuring Garden is one of the most famous attractions in Kagawa Prefecture, the smallest prefecture in Japan that is also known for its delicious udon noodles. In fact, Richuring Garden is so popular that it has been recognized as a national special scenic spot and a national special historic site. It has also been awarded three stars by the Michelin Green Guide Japan, which means it is worth a special journey. Come with me and let's explore the park together, and marvel at how the landscape changes with every step we take. We were lucky enough to visit the park on a sunny day, when the autumn leaves were at their brightest and most vibrant. The contrast between the blue sky, the green grass and the colorful trees was breathtaking. We walked around the park for hours, admiring the different views and taking lots of photos. Richuring Garden is very large, covering an area of 75 hectares. The gardens are divided into Japanese gardens and Western gardens. Let's go to the Western-style garden first. The Western-style garden is also called the North Garden. One of the most prominent features of the garden is Gunokai, which translates to the Pond of Wild Duck. This is the biggest pond in the entire area and it has a rich history dating back to the Edo period, when it was used as a hunting ground for ducks by the feudal lords and their guests. The pond is surrounded by lush greenery and has a small island in the center, which can be accessed by a wooden bridge. The duck pond is a serene and scenic spot that offers a glimpse into the past and the culture of Japan. Hanashobu Next to the duck pond are the pavilion and the iris's garden. The iris garden contains thousands of iris trees, which are summer flowering plants. Unfortunately, we visited in autumn and the iris did not bloom. Fuyosho. The stone beam spanning the Faong pond comes into view. Lotus is a perennial herbaceous plant of the family lotus, known as hibiscus in ancient times. Lotus flowers often bloom in summer, and lotus flowers have become a summer-style poem. Furong Numa, Japanese pronunciation, Fuyosho, is a pond in the park where lotus flowers are planted. There are many maple trees planted around Furong Numa. Most of the maple trees are covered with bright red leaves. The whole tree is as red as fire and looks dazzling in the sun. It shows a bright color with the withered lotus behind. The garden is always a hit with tourists, no matter what time of the year you visit. But if you really want to see something spectacular, you should go in spring or autumn, when the cherry blossoms and the red leaves create a stunning contrast with the greenery. Just be prepared to share the view with lots of other people because the park is packed with visitors from dawn to dusk during these peak seasons. Hayaka During 18th the century, this area served as an herbal garden. But now, Hayaka Ien is a plum flower garden. Around 100 plum trees are planted in this area. In autumn season, plum leaves are fallen and we cannot see plum flowers. You can enjoy the beautiful plum flowers from February through March. Surakomatsu. 
Surakem Matsu is crane and turtle pine tree. A crane flutters its wings as if standing on the back of a turtle. There are 1,400 pine trees in the garden, but this is the most precious one. Hakamatsu Biobumatsu. Hakamatsu means box pine in Japanese, and Biobumatsu means folding screen pine trees. They are located almost in the center of the garden, close to Hoko, the North Pond. The lower pine trees are Hakamatsu, and the taller pine trees are Biobumatsu. It is one of the unique features of Richuring Garden, preserved through the accumulation of over 300 years of careful care and pruning. It is one of the most popular attractions in the garden. In autumn, it turns into a tunnel of pine trees, which is refreshing. Tourists take photos while admiring the pine trees. Niagarakashi Niagarakashi is a oak with raised roots. Around 1910, an oak grew up, setting its roots down through the hollow in an old pine tree trunk. Afterwards, the pine tree died and rotted away, leaving the evergreen oak's roots in this shape. Sanuki Mingaken Sanuki Mingaken is a folk craft museum, exhibits a great approximately 1,000 piece of collection including local pottery called Riheyaki, wood crafts, Kagawa lacquer ware and traditional tools tarp were once popular among ordinary people, all used in daily life. Shoko Shuriken Commerce and Industry Promotion Hall is called Shoko Shuriken in Japanese. This building was originally constructed as the Kagawa Prefectural Museum in 1899. The name of the building was changed as Shoko Shuriken in 1938. On the second floor, it is exhibited of furniture which was created by famous woodworker. Great views of the North Garden can be enjoyed from the balcony on the second floor. Seiko One of the most charming spots in Richuring Garden is the West Pond, also known as Seiko. Here, you can admire the contrast between the simple and rustic scenery of the natural face of Mount Shun which serves as a stunning backdrop for the garden, and the elegant and refined landscape of the pond itself. The West Pond is a place where you can appreciate the harmony between nature and human creativity, and enjoy a relaxing and peaceful atmosphere. Sekihiki You might notice a striking red cliff near the West Pond. This is called Sekihiki, which means red wall in Japanese. But did you know that this cliff is not a natural formation? The gardeners of Richuring Garden were impressed the landscape and decided to recreate it in their own backyard. Seikihiki is one of the examples of how Richuring Garden incorporates elements from various culture and art, making it a unique and diverse place to explore. Higrashi Tii Higrashi tea is a traditional thatched roof tea house built in the 18th century. The tea garden leading to the tea house is called Roji. The autumn leaves in the tea house had turned red, and the thatched roof set off the autumn leaves into a beautiful scenery. Makarajusha. There are many precious rocks in the garden and some of them are with unique names. Makarajusha means looking back lion in Japanese. On the left of the Makarajusha, there is another such rock, Botanishi, or Peony Rock. After searching for a while, we finally found this rock that looked like a turning back lion. Sometimes finding a solution requires imagination. Okidoinotaki Okidoinotaki is a waterfall in the West Pond. Legend has it that the waterfall was a favorite of the feudal lord who built the garden, and he would often visit it to enjoy its soothing sound and refreshing spray. Okidoi Waterfall is a man-made waterfall. There was not much water flowing in the waterfall in autumn when we visited. Kyu Higrashi Tii This tea house, built in 1700 and called Higrashi Tii, was removed to a location outside of the garden in the late 19th century. When it was returned to the garden in 1945, 
The real Reddy stood in new tea house with the name Higurashi Tee, so its name was changed to Kiyu Higurashi Tee. Kiyu means former. It is a very precious building that conveys the charm of a daimyo style tea house of the 17th century. The building is culturally and historically valuable. As a cultural building, this tea hoju is not open to public. Nanko. If you want to experience the beauty of nature in a creative way, you should visit the stunning South Pond, or Nanko, in the magnificent Richering Garden. This is the most artistic part of the garden, where you can admire the diverse and splendid views of the landscape as you stroll around or hop on a traditional wasan boat. You will see how the pond reflects the azure sky, the verdant trees, and the graceful bridges, creating a harmonious and serene picture. You will also notice how the garden designers used various ingenious techniques to make the pond look larger and deeper than it really is. This is a clever and impressive trick that enhances the aesthetic and sublime appeal of the place. Fugen. Fugen is one of the truly spectacular and breathtaking spot, where you can marvel at a magnificent collection of 70 maple trees in the autumn season. These trees are not just ordinary maples, they are like nature's masterful artists, painting the landscape with their brilliant hues of crimson, amber and gold. If you come here in late November, you will be mesmerized by the striking contrast between the fiery foliage and the tranquil pond. It's like stepping into a magical fairy tale, or a gorgeous Japanese painting come to life. Enjutsukyo One of the most breathtaking sights in Richuring Garden is the magnificent Enjutsukyo, a wooden bridge that spans gracefully across the serene South Pond. It is the largest bridge in the garden. The name Enjetsukyo means Crescent Moon Bridge, and it comes from the enchanting scene that can be seen at night, when the moonlight reflects softly on the water and creates a curved shape that resembles a delicate crescent moon. The bridge is also a popular spot for taking photos, especially during the cherry blossom season, when the pink flowers contrast beautifully with the dark wood of the bridge. If you visit Richuring Garden, don't miss the chance to walk across Enge. The garden is famous for its stunning scenery and beauty, but it becomes even more magical when the leaves turn red, orange and yellow. The peak season for fall foliage is usually between late November and early December, but it can vary depending on the weather and temperature. Now is the time to see the maple leaves at their most gorgeous equals equals but how did richuring garden come to be what is its history well let us tell you a little bit about it the construction of the garden began during Kanii era 1630s under the rule of ikoma takatoshi the feudal lord of takamatsu in sanuki no kumi now kagawa prefecture he wanted to create a garden around the South Pond using the beautiful greenery of Mount Shun as a backdrop. Mutain Shun means Purple Cloud Mountain in Japanese. The private garden was originally named Ritsurinso. In 1642, a feudal lord continued the garden's construction and expanded it to include more ponds and hills. His successors also contributed to the development of the garden until it was completed in 1745, after 100 years of improvements and extensions. The garden was then used as a private strolling garden and villa for the local feudal lords. However, things changed after the Meiji Restoration in 1868, the name was changed to Richuring Garden. Richuring Garden was designated as a prefectural garden and opened to the public in 1875. Since then, some modifications were made to adapt to modern times, such as adding a western-style garden in the north part, and building a museum and folk craft galleries. There was even a zoo and a swimming pool in the park, but they were later closed and removed. It was designated as a special place of scenic beauty by the country in 1953, 
Ritchering Garden is not only a feast for the eyes, but also for the soul. Walking around the park, you can feel the harmony between nature and human artistry. You can also enjoy the changing scenery as you move from one section to another. The park has both a Japanese-style garden and a Western-style garden, each with its own charm and beauty. The best part is that you can admire the gorgeous autumn colors from different angles and perspectives. You can take a boat ride on the pond, climb up to the observation deck on top of the hill, or relax at one of the tea houses while sipping a cup of matcha. No matter where you go, you will be surrounded by the breathtaking view of red leaves. Richer in Garden is not a secret anymore. It has gained international fame and attracts visitors from all over the world. You can easily spot them in the park, taking pictures and selfies with their smartphones and cameras. Some of them even wear kimono or yakata to blend in with the traditional atmosphere.